Hey, what's up guys? All right, so I had no, uh, no tripod yesterday, so I didn't do any filming. And what I did finish was uh, I got the rest of the airbags bolted up, the uh, bushings in the front torque arms, um, switched the brakes to the right brakes, the 4515s, the red drums with the nine inch pilot, so the eight, 0.78 inch pilots that didn't fit um, so far I broke one of the old hubs two are still good so I can sell those that's nice uh, I got to take this set off and redo the brakes on this one yet but the whole front is done right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm doing these bushings these are kind of a pain in the butt uh, you press the press the bushing out and then it leaves the uh, outside piece uh, of the bushing press the rubber out of the center and then take an air chisel and chisel through this, knock it out, and then take the new ones and slap them in. And uh, when I get that done, I've got to, uh, okay, if you can see this bracket right here, this bracket is what the uh, torque arm bolts do, and there's an aluminum mount that goes here. I've got some rust in between. It's not horrible. It's not as bad as I thought it was, but we're going to take this bracket off, uh, sand off the rust, prime and paint that, prime and paint the bracket. Um, and then we'll remount the bracket, put a new, or the plate, put a new bracket on, and put this torque arm in. Uh, and then just get to touching up all the inside of the frame, make it all one color so it looks nice. Uh, all right, let's see what we can do. Let me see. First thing you do when you run an uh, air hammer is you reach for the earplug because these babies are super loud and uh you know ear pro is pretty cheap you can get a box of them off amazon for like 15 bucks and uh you know if you use them while you're young you might still be able to hear when you're old unfortunately i didn't start wearing them until i was old Now, you want to be a little careful. These are aluminum, and uh, a little is a lot. So all I'm going to do is a file belt sander, and I'm just going to touch.
Okay. Just cleaned up that scratches a little bit. All right, let's go press some new ones in, huh? It's like 10,000% humidity out here. It's gonna rain, it says it wasn't, but I see that that is no longer correct. All right, so uh, this is the big one and this is the little one. So we're gonna stick the little one in first. Then we don't have to have that big, big heavy pushing hanging off the end while we're trying to get this one on. Okay, there's your bushing, here's your hole, and just press it through. Now, save yourself some hassle, and uh, line it up this way. For your safety glasses. Pull down this so it doesn't smack you in the head. Now, we learned from the one before, there's this taper right here. We're going to push it down until about this much of the taper sticks out. And then that should be... Oh, you know what? I don't have this tight enough. It's not really uh, how they're pressing. Now it's pressing. Now you can see the movement. Now, is this worth saving the 200 bucks? I don't think so. Oh. Uh, $200, see, and actually it's like $178. That's cheap to just unbolt these and slap new ones on. But I like these aluminum I beams. They're just cool looking. And uh, I don't know. You know, these presses put out quite a bit of pressure. This sounds like a 20 ton jack. And uh, it's getting super hard and it shouldn't be. So we're just gonna take it up a little bit and get a look, see what's going on. Yeah, it's going. Oh. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. Was this black side up? And so this goes that way. I don't think it matters, but just to keep it the same, we'll press this down through there. And uh, we'll use this. Wondered. 
it's warm in here. Same rules apply. Keep the, your hand on this so it doesn't punch you in the face. And if it does, it's your own hand, not a piece of steel. Same rules apply. We're going to press it down to about here and then take a look. Looks like that's about it. Alright, let's give her a game. Looks good. Looks really good actually. This should get us where we want to be. Wow, is it hot in here? What I'll do is I'll move this card out of the way and I'll get, a, I'll get the inside wheel bolted on and then I'll let this axle down and then I'll take these off and I'll change the brakes and uh, clean up and paint the inside wheel black and, uh, and stick it back on and then set the truck down on there and then uh, yeah and then I'll jack up that side of the frame, change that bracket, and uh, put that torque arm on, and then clean up paint, and change the fasteners on the mud flaps to stainless, and uh, this truck from the gas tanks back will be done. And then, uh, if I got time, let me uh, put you back up here a little bit. Okay, so, uh, where was I? Sweating. It's super hot out. Uh, so I'm going to take these wheels off, do the brakes, um, and then get this thing, the wheel, the inner wheel back on and get it on the ground. And uh, touch up the paint, put that bracket on, stainless fasteners on the mud flaps, and then the back of the truck from here back is done. Uh, I'm going to leave the outside wheels off for right now um, because I may polish them. Uh, I'll tell you, the wheels on that other cutoff are a lot nicer. It's too bad I I don't have the energy to change all the tires, or I would put uh, those wheels on here because they're a lot nicer. This has two Accurides and two Alcoas. That has four Alcoas. One of the rims, uh, the edges busted off, and we get that wall in fixed up. Uh, or just buy a new wheel. But anyways, um, I think I'll do time lapse for this one. So, uh, brakes are done, proper hub, airbags all the way around, front bushings, four tires on. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, put this thing back on the ground, take that bracket off, clean it up, put that uh, torque arm on, and then uh, finish doing the inside of the frame. So 
it's all one color. So I guess I'm going to pretend time lapse. Well, I don't know why my time lapse is off, but I'm making, I'm making these look like this. All right, so I'm gonna teach you, teach you something, you know, because I can. But anyways, uh, I'm sure we've all had to beat a bolt out before. And you can look, I've been grinding on it to get the head moved into shape. If you see, when it comes around to right here, the thread's just about smashed shut. So what you do is you take one of these thread files and uh, this is a 2.0, I think it's a 2.0. So you find one that fits in there perfectly like this. Okay, and then you just work that make it so you can see it Well, I ended up uh, taking that uh, that first thread off. I didn't really want to. I wanted to fix it, but it was just smashed down too far. So I just ground that first thread off and restarted it. And there you go.
go up. Uh, I got, uh, I got a good part of the frame cleaned up and uh, painted. I got a lot more to go. But, you know, when you got to do it a little at a time, when it's raining, you get that. So, now here's the thing. Ever since I got Trisha, occasionally the brakes would stick. Push the brake pedal and it would stay. The brakes would stay. I changed uh, valves in the back. Main valves that uh, that I could have to change. I don't really know. It might even be the trouble. Uh, anyways, that's what I'm messing with right now. Uh, so I'm just going to do it. There's no sense in having a recording. I'm just going to do it and see if I can figure it out. And I'll let you know. Thanks. Okay, guys. So I'm wrapping up for the day. I worked in the rain a little bit just because. Uh, out here policing the cleanup. She wants to go and get some food. Can't blame her. I'm a little hungry myself. Uh, tonight, before I edit this, I'm gonna put some names up. Uh, I'm gonna do it while I'm while I'm sitting in front of the computer because it's too hard to find names on the phone. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm sitting in front of the computer. Go through a few uh, subscribers. Say thanks. Appreciate you being a part of the process here. Gopher 91, appreciate it. Grubby 1975, appreciate you coming by, subscribing. Uh, Mr. Four Bulls, Keith T, Chad Smith, Rodney Leslie James, nice to have you. Uh, let's see. Jerry Snyder, Kent Allard, D Short 0728, appreciate you. Matt Smith, Thomas, I'm going to screw this up. Thomas J, I'll say it that way. Patrick Keith, Lucas TKO, Matthew Customs, I don't want to talk to you before. Jan DC 16. Noun hours 051. Appreciate you. Dr. Olds. B Billy 07. Appreciate you. Randy Brokaw. What's up, bub? Chris Simon. Tim Freeman. Matt Mogul. Adam Thede. Jerry Stevenson. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for subscribing. So that's it for the night. Uh, thanks for coming by today, checking it out. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, click the subscribe button, or subscribe, or subscribe. And uh, come back and see us again. See ya.